everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wicked Wednesday. I am your host, Sid Survival Guide, and today we are going with a cauliflower crust pizza from Newman's Own, and it also 100% profits to charity. Super excited about that, the margarita pizza and traffic IPA. Made in Memphis, Tennessee, Crosstown. Brewing Company, CBC, alcohol content 6.2% by volume. I'm going to put this up and grab a glass. As always, a little mason jar. We will crack this bad boy open. It says loud and crisp. All right, CBC. This is also a ball brewing in association independent craft certified beer, but this is a ball can, which is really cool. I've said that in the past. This, I don't have a clue whether this is a hazy or a dark or a light or any kind. India Pale Ale, obviously. We know that now, you know. It looks good. Looks like a golden. 6.2%, which is good. I'd say this would be somewhat hazy. Oh, this is a non, is it non-filtered or something? Looks like it's got chunks in it. And I say chunks, but they're probably just tiny little particles. Yeah, that's good. That is actually really good. It is light at the end. I think if something is really, really hoppy or almost sour, I get that urge to sneeze right at the end of drinking it. This almost made me feel like that, but not quite. Let's go ahead and cut into this pizza. Hey, I don't know if you heard that or not, but there's no sound effects needed with that one. That's crunchy. This is a cauliflower margarita style pizza. And we are going to give it a try. And then we're going to try it with some Frank's Red Hot. Because uh, I like spicy stuff. I try to bring you guys what I would like to eat while drinking. Because I tend to try to either have something in mind to eat. Or have already eaten when it involves beer. In order to keep that healthy balance in your stomach. So that you're not feeling terrible the next day. You know, or any of the, the ill-advised side effects of drinking alcohol so now we're going to go ahead and uh we're going to do a half and half on this little piece right here well first we'll go regular and then with some pranks it says it's got a stone fired crust so we can get some more of this one that's not enough franks there we go let's go ahead and get some more of this I understand why it says crisp on the can. It is a crisp IPA. This may be one of the lighter tasting. This one is really good. I do like that. It doesn't give me a weird sour taste in my mouth afterwards. But close. And I guess almost all the IPAs that I drink have had a sour, almost sour taste. And I've tried to explain to people over and over that it's an acquired taste. And I I don't, I don't want to drink 12 beers. I don't. It's just too much. It's consuming too much. But I do still want to achieve a certain goal when I decide to drink alcohol. Obviously, I'm trying to think responsibly. And with this being said, no one should be drinking 12 of anything within three or four hours. I mean, unless it's water, and that can almost be dangerous. So, you gotta be careful. This is weird. It's good, but... Wow, maybe it's the cauliflower. No artificial preservatives, no artificial flavors. Cheese from the milk of cows, not treated with little r, big B-S-T. I don't know what that is, but... I don't. I don't know how to describe it. 
because on one hand you can taste the vegetables and the cheese and on the other hand the cauliflower crust almost planes them out as in like I guess takes away for the from the robustness of the vegetables obviously it's a frozen pizza so that could be one reason that the vegetables themselves might not be as good tasting it goes well with the beer that's not bad and I guess it would be to try not to drink something that's too too loud, too brave to the taste buds because then it's going to be such a contrasting flavor. Like I am struggling with the taste of that would be good with these IPAs is like a really hearty steak sauce. All right, we're going to try this about with Frank's and then we're going to finish off this beer here. Frank's added just enough heat to make it good. I like it with the Frank's. It's okay. If it was like a one to ten on frozen pizzas, do we put it on the same scale as a as a as a meat pizza? Because there's, I'm assuming this is all this would be vegetarian, gluten free, made with real cauliflower. So I would assume this is not vegan, but vegetarian. So do we put it on a different scale? Because this is the first ever like frozen vegetarian pizza that I have attempted to review. So we're going to give it a 5 out of 10 on the, the frozen pizza vegetarian scale. I'm not going to do that with the beer. That's too hard. Maybe after a lot more. But I definitely do enjoy Traffic IPA. This is probably one of the better tasting ones that I have tried. You know, and it, you know, over the time, I could just be getting more and more used to them, so I'm able to pick these things out. I do get a hint, almost like an orange crispness. And it is a very, it, I mean, loud and crisp. It is very, very correct. And I'm all about these Tennessee IPAs. I'm loving them. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Wicked Wednesdays. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out all of our social links. Any kind of channel growth helps it. Get better beers, better food. Sit Survival Guide. Chuck and Deuces.